So good morning, children. I do hope you're doing well and uh, enjoying the last few days of your holiday. Um, back to school next week, and uh, I hope you settle in nicely to your lessons, enjoy seeing your friends and being able to play with them again. I wonder if any of you guys have got a special pet at home, maybe a dog or a cat. Uh, that's very traditional. Maybe you've got something more exotic at home, like a, a snake or a lizard or a spider. <laughs> don't like spiders much, but some people like them as pets. Well, we've got a special pet, and I'm going to show you her now. You can see there, there's our dog sitting with uh, my wife, Melanie. That's our dog, Bella. And she's two years old now. And we got her when she was a little puppy. And we love her dearly. And she now belongs to us. She's our pet. And we take care of her. She's part of our family. And that's what today's lesson is from our book, Everything a Child Should Know About God, is about today. It's all about family. More specifically, about God's family, about being a part of God's family and belonging to God, yeah? All right, did you know that when you become a Christian, when you become a follower of the Lord Jesus, you become part of God's family? You know, God wants to love you as his own son or daughter. He wants to help your mum and dad and take care of you. Just like mum and dads do, he will tell you when you've done something wrong, He's very happy when you do what is right. And God wants you to know that you're very, very special to him. Well, how do we know that? Well, that's a good question. In recent weeks, we've learned all about how God has shown how much he loves us. We've learned all about how Jesus, his only son, came into the world to save us. Remember this picture? Picture of Jesus, the children there with him. Jesus loves us so much and God loves us so much that Jesus came into the world on a rescue mission to save us. Remember we learned that we are all sinners. Remember this picture? This picture of this little girl who's taken a nice big bite out of that cake that she wasn't meant to and her mum's telling her off and it's cross. But we learned all about sin. Sin is when we do anything wrong. Yeah? It's also when we don't do what we ought to do. Yeah, if we don't love our mums and dads and our friends and uh, our family and even our enemies, if we don't love them, because God loves his enemies, you know, if we don't love as God loves, then we are sinning, yeah, and we do sin. And we've learned all over Easter how God showed his love to us and how he sent Jesus to rescue us. And how did Jesus rescue us from our sins? Remember, last week Andy showed us this picture. See there, there are three crosses, and the middle cross is the cross that Jesus died on. Remember, Jesus came into the world, and he lived a perfect life, yeah, never did anything wrong. And yet, in spite of that, he was placed on a cross and put to death on a cross in our place, yeah, and took the punishment for our sins that we deserved on himself. So, how do you become a Christian then? Well, it's by admitting that you're a sinner, that you've done wrong things, and turning to God, turning away from your sin, and asking Jesus to save you and to be your Lord and Saviour, and to forgive you your sins, yeah? And God's shown how special you are to him in sending Jesus into the world, to live for you and then to die for you. There's a picture of today's lesson of a little boy called John. Can you see what he's doing there? He's painting some lovely pictures. I like that one there at the top, one of the dinosaur. Yeah, you can see what he's painting at the moment. He's painting a picture of his mum and his dad. He's painting a picture of his family. I wonder if his mum and dad know all about Jesus. I do hope so. My question today is, say the names of some of the people that God loves. Can you say the name of some of the people that God loves? And the second question is even more important. Did you say your name too? Because you see, God does love you very, very, very much. And he's shown his love for you in sending his only son into the world, his only son, Jesus, to live for you and then to die for you, to take your punishment for your sins upon himself. And if you place your trust in Jesus, then you become part of God's family. You belong to him. Yeah? It's good to belong. 
It's good to be part of a family. Family is God's idea. We've learned today that God's got a family. He wants you to be part of that family. And the way for that to happen is for you to turn away from the wrong things you do and place your trust and your hope and your faith in the Lord Jesus. Yeah? Then you'll become part of God's family. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Let's say a quick prayer. Dear Lord God, we thank you that over Easter we've learned the lesson about how you've shown your love for us in sending your Son, the Lord Jesus, into the world to live a perfect life and then to go and die on the cross in our place to take the punishment we deserve upon himself for our sin. And by doing that, he has made the way that if we just turn away from our sin and turn to you, Lord Jesus, and ask you to be our Lord and Saviour, that you make a way for us to become part of your family, dear God. Isn't that wonderful? Thank you for doing that. Lord, bless us now and help us to think of this often. Lord. May we make sure that we've placed our faith in Jesus so that we can be part of your family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Time for a nice song. God bless you all. The life that we were made for